The direct information obtainable from the test or from graphical extrapolation of data includes the static reservoir pressure, a measure of flow rate, whether reservoir depletion took place during the test, and of course, we obtained a fluid sample. The information that we obtain indirectly from the solution to the appropriate flow equations includes the effective permeability of the formation to the flowing fluid, formation transmissibility, wellbore skin factor, the radius of investigation of the test, whether there exist reservoir anomalies such as barriers, fluid contacts, permeability changes, or layered zones, the productivity of the well under various completion design conditions, the wellbore storage effects, and, if needed, the basis for optimal design of subsurface and surface equipment for the expected inflow performance of the well. It is clear that the drill stem test is one of the more important reservoir evaluation methods because it allows us to see deeper into the formation and to measure the properties of the formation back deeper than the wellbore itself. But it not, must not be used in isolation. It must be integrated with the other analysis methods. And finally, of course, we should mention that the results should be realistic. We should consider them in light of all of the data and what is practical and realistic within the confines of our reservoir.